Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel. It's Chelsea where we talk about all things glam and all things girly. So, we got a Sephora haul and I just, you know, I picked up just a few things, okay? <laughs> a few things <laughs> that I wanna share with you today. So that's what we're doing, just talking about the things I purchased during the Sephora savings event. This is probably haul one of. So let's just get into this haul. But before we get into this video, I just want to say thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I truly do appreciate it. And if you are new, I would love for you to click that subscribe button, join the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And let's get right into this okay, video. So I'm just going to pull things out the bag. Let's go. Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade What a Brat. This shade I've been wanting for a little over a year now. I saw someone on TikTok use it on their lips. And I was like, I want to do that. And so that's why I want it. Plus, I think this would be a really pretty complimentary highlighter for all of these like baby doll pink blushes that I've been collecting. And I love the Fenty Beauty highlighter formula. So I know I'm going to love this formula. And this shade is just really unique. Like I don't have a highlighter in this particular shade. So very excited to have this. And I want to put some on, but I got to film a video with this look first. I probably should have done that first so we could play fragrance. I did pick up quite a few fragrances. So I did pick up the Rosie by Rosie Jane fragrance. This is the one that I was telling you all about on my wish list that I wanted. And I really, really like this one. So, I, oh yeah, I did spray it on me today. It's actually been on my wrist now for eight hours, I wanna say seven to eight hours and I can still smell it up close. Now it's not one of those scents that like takes up a room. I don't know even if you would smell it if I walk past you. I feel like you would, but it's not gonna be anything overpowering. So this would be a fragrance that I would wear if I were going to the office, if I'm gonna be on a plane. I don't think it's one, it's, it's one of those offensive scents. Um, some things about um, by Rosie Jane that they would like for you to know. Their uh, clean and safe formulas. They say no to over 4,000 yucky ingredients. Um, no single use plastics ever. 100% ingredient transparency. Made in the US. Um, all mama found and owned. The fragrance Rosie, they um, say is a nude musk very good description of it nude musk and sweet rose so it feels like sleeping in your birthday suit naked and subtle i would agree i would agree like i said a non-offensive scent that if you like roses but you like a modern rose like i love a rose scent but i like for it to be modern i don't want to smell it like i don't want it to smell like the rose scent my mom used to wear back in like the late 80s i think you would like this I really do. And one of you guys told me to check out this one. So this is Ellis Brooklyn Florist. And um, Andrea Renee also really likes this fragrance. And I tend to like some of the fragrances that she likes. And so I was like, all right, let me try it. I got the sample size. I'm like, if I run through this, then I know it's me. It is worth me buying the full size. So this smells divine. So thank you to you who recommended this to me based off of what you think I would like. The formula is vegan and cruelty free and it smells so good. Oh, it smells so good. It's got a nice warm floral scent to it. Like it reminds me of um, a nice summer's day out, outside with floral arrangements outside. It, it smells so good. Oh, so happy to have it. I feel like I will end up purchasing that in the full size. Okay, so I did pick up the Haas Labs blush in the shade Dragon Fruit Days. So this is my first Haas Labs like um, color product and it looks, it looks so pretty. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'll do a quick swatch for you just so you can see what it looks like swatch wise. It gives me like, Looks very neon, but I know it's gonna blend out really nicely just based on how it blended out in the back of my hand. Um, when I was in Sephora, the lady that was helping me said that she likes this formula so much better than the Dior 001 pink um, blush shade that everybody was raving about at one point. She was like, the formula is just more creamy and she thinks that this actual shade is better. So I think this is gonna look really pretty on the skin. So glad I picked it up. So. I'll be demoing all of these products in another video. I just wanted y'all to see what I got first before I demoed it. 
So yes, I can't wait to put this on, see what it looks like. Ooh, the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlighter with this blush. Can we say divine? I can all I can already tell you that's gonna be a good one. That's gonna be a good one. Okay. Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Natural Deodorant. So I saw on TikTok that this is a deodorant that will actually clear the dark spots under your armpits. Um, I am a natural deodorant gal and i'm always looking for a really good one so some of my favorites one of you all asked if i could do a video on my favorite natural deodorants i'm not gonna do a video because it's just really one that like holds me down no questions asked it's um it's by the brand called schmitz and the, and it's their elangi lang scent but it is it's um the formula is kind of rough so <laughs> it has a lot of baking soda in it. It is the only natural deodorant that will hold me literally from sun up to sun up. And I'm talking in the heat, working out, like there is no odor. I am not sweating with it. Um, but I still try to find other ones because that one is more coarse in texture. So um, Native is really good too, but Native doesn't hold me all day. Native gets me like eight hours. Um, and I'm like, you know, if it's aluminum free, eight hours is actually pretty good. So I'm interested to see how long this will hold me. One of you guys was like, it's trash. I smelled so bad with it. So I actually put some on before I filmed this video. So we'll see um, how it wears and all that stuff. I'll keep you guys updated as too if I feel like it is worth your buy. Um, Cause I've been in a natural deodorant wearing phase of my life for like goodness maybe five years now so i know some good ones and i know some bad ones okay pick up sephora collection weightless false lashes in the shade sweet in the shade in the style sweet and subtle these are so so lightweight very pretty easy to apply the band is like non-existent so you can see there that it's got a very, very thin band and there's about four or five styles of these. So I picked up Sweet and Subtle, so cute. And you can use them multiple times, which I'm really happy about. Got me a little face mask, um, Sephora Collection face mask. So this is the moisturizing and glowing face mask. These face masks are only $6 prior to the 30% to the off. So I picked up one. I only picked up one because I have a lot of face masks, but I was like, I have not, I don't think I've ever really tried their face masks. And this was off of a recommendation by a celebrity makeup artist, Ellie Luna. Um, and anything she says, I'm like, I need to have it. So I was like, let me try one. If I like it, I'll pick up some more. I might do that one tonight. So more fragrance. So replica walk on the beach i told y'all i wanted this one i got it in the travel spray because i was like i don't need to be spending money on full sizes when i may not even be wearing it like that so travel is good for me and i also love it when it and it when it's actually a spray this one smells like the beach so think tom ford soleil blanc vibes like it's not a dupe for that at all i'm not saying that they smell identical let me okay let's lean in oh yes Oh, yes, think Tom Ford Soleil Blanc vibes. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like summer. I might end up buying this full size too because I could see myself running through this in the summertime. Perfect summertime fine scent, like good vacation scent as well. This is this would definitely be a, a fragrance I would take on vacation, especially if it's like a beach vacation, all-inclusive resort, won't be glistening and half naked, yeah. That's a good fragrance for that. Okay, then I got the Ness Balinese Coconut Perfume Oil. I got the Roller Balm as well. And this actually comes in a pretty decent size of product. Yes, I wanted this one for layering purposes. So for me, I would layer this with Replica's Beach Walk. Y'all, that's a combination right there. That's a combination. So really, really excited to have this. Um, and depending on how much I use this, then I might go back and get the full size. For now, I will stick with these because I like, I wear fragrance all the time, but I'm very conservative with my fragrance. So like, I'm not the person that's like, no, I'll be doing all that. I'm like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and if I'm feeling really sassy, I might hit my ankles, and that's it. So like, it takes me a, it takes me years to go through fragrances. <laughs> So that's why I'm like, I'm always down for getting the smallest size, unless it's one of those fragrances that I know will be, you know, kind of holy girl status for me and I'll run through it. So um, yeah, then we got Killian's I Don't Need a Prince to Be a Princess. And this one, oh, I, let's lean in smell, cause we're gonna spray over here. Cause you know, beach walking over here. Let's lean in. Oh. oh. So the, oh, this smells so good. Oh, I love fragrance, y'all. It smells so good. I wish I could be better at identifying scents. This is a scent I would definitely wear at night um, because it's quite warm and sensual. That's the feeling I get when I smell it. Um, black dress, bold red lip, and I'm not trying to be the star of the show, but like indirectly. I'm the star of the show. Oh, this fragrance smells divine. I might need to go back and get the full size of this one. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, moving along. So Sephora Collection, the lip creams. So Sephora Collection lip creams, I got three of them. And the shade that I'm actually wearing today in the center of my lips is called Blushing Beige. Is that what your name is? I think it's Blushing Beige. Either way, it's number 73. So I'll do a quick swatch of it so you can see what it looks like. Here is a quick swatch of it. Very like cool toned pink beigey shade, but it looks so pretty. So um, it definitely was looking quite crusty on my lips you know, by itself. So I took the lip liner from Makeup Forever. This is their artist pencil in the shade Up and Down Tan. And that's what I line my lips with. And then I topped it with the Dior Attic um, Lip Maximizer in shade 002. And that's how we got this lip combo and she's really pretty. So these Sephora Collection lip stains, they are $15 prior to the 30% off. They are some of the best formulated lip products at Sephora in terms of liquid lipstick formulas. They do not budge, they last all day, full on pigmentation. I have a few of them. So um, when Sephora collection does have sales, I will just pick up a couple because they are really, really beautiful. And the shade range is endless. Like there's pretty much a shade for whatever type of lip product or lip color that you're looking for. So I highly recommend if you like liquid lipsticks, you're always looking for a good one and you wanna get one for like, you know, what? At this point, 10.50 with 30% off? Check these out. Okay, this is shade 25 and I thought this would be really pretty for the summertime. It's like, um, like a terracotta orange color. No, not terracotta but like a burnt orange color. Oh, that would be really pretty with like a bronzy glowy look. And then this shade was a recommendation by Ellie Luna. And um, I found a dupe for the Fenty Beauty Icon lipstick in, I forgot the name of the Icon lipstick, but it's the darkest one. This one right here. So this is shade 26. And I wish I would have taken a picture so you all could see it, but I swatched Fenty Beauty shade next to this one. Identical shade, you guys. $10.50. Now, of course, formula is different because Fenty Beauty is gonna have more of that um, velvet formula, but these dry down and they don't budge, so you won't have to worry about them like gliding on your teeth like some people don't like with the Fenty Beauty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. But these are the shades that I got and I think they're all really, really beautiful and stunning. Highly recommend them. Like, it's one of the best products in the Sephora collection brand. So I picked up a Dior Attic Lip Glow. Never purchased one of these. I'm not gonna lie, the packaging drew me in. So this is the Lip Glow. I got shade 013 because there was only two shades left and this was the shade that I liked the most. So this is the shade and I'll just put it right here. And it's just a nice little lip balm. So that's the shade right here on my hand. I did apply it today. It felt really nice on the lips. So we'll see how it goes. This is definitely one of those like throw in the purse type products. Um, but so far, so good. Feels nice. And um, like I said, it has a balmy texture. Then um, also another Ellie Luna recommendation 
is Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Palette. Now, I was actually eyeing this before I saw her recommendation for this and I was like, okay, this is confirmation, I should pick it up. Cause I was like, this looks like it could be really, really pretty. And the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Powder, I don't like getting up and getting it, but that powder is bomb.com. Highly recommend you check it out if you're looking for a really beautiful, like light powder foundation, buffing um, powder, powder to buff in your uh, makeup products. Like it's so micro smooth and pore blurring. So this palette is called the Micro Smooth Multitasking Baked Face Palette. And it's in the shade called Captivate. So they have a lighter one and then this is the deeper one. And I'll just swatch the shades so you can see them. All right, so I do have some residue from those liquid lipsticks on my arm, but hopefully you all can see the shades. So those are the shades. This is actually my first time swatching it because I didn't even swatch it in store because at first I thought they didn't have it and I was like, oh my God, I want it. And then they had like two left and I was like, just give it to me. But these, oh, these look really pretty. Yeah, this is good. And this is $20 before the 30% off. So like the more I try Sephora Collection, I'm like, um, this is a great brand great brand at Sephora. So really excited to have this. Like I said, I'll definitely be doing a demo using these so you can see them in action. A couple more products and we're done. I did pick up the coral shade of the Dior blush. Cannot wait to try this because I think it's gonna be amazing. So here is the coral blush. I don't think you're gonna see too much with this because it looks kind of light, but you know, sometimes blushes don't swatch well but they look much better on the cheeks. So yeah, we'll definitely throw this on the cheeks so we can see what it looks like. Cause I know when I swatched 001 in this, I was like, now why are people going crazy over this? And then I put it on my cheeks and I was like, eh, that's why. I got it, Kayali Pistachio. I knew I had to get this one. I knew I wanted it in full size and that's what we did. So I have worn this once like all day smells divine um definitely for someone who loves a good sweet scent but it's not an overbearing sweet scent which i'm really happy about because as much as i love sweet scents i don't like when they're overbearing when they're too much when i feel like it's sitting here on my throat and it smells like candy like literal candy or it smells like um children's perfume i don't want to smell like my children i want to smell like a mature you know sweet you know what woman so Oh, this one smells good. Let me just spray her in the air. I love the mister. It's so fine. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This is, mm. Yes. If you were eyeing it, you think you might like it based off the notes, pick it up. Mm. And it did last very well throughout the day. And then I got the Sol de Janeiro, their Rio Radiance Cream. This is really beautiful. Smells great. And it actually leaves shimmer like visible shimmer on the body. And that's honestly why I got it because um, I need to be looking like a glowing goddess this summer. And even when it's not summertime, I wanna look like a glowing goddess. And I have plenty of glowing products, but you know, you can never have too much. So this is what the formula looks like. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, yes, yes, yes. Ooh, putting this on and then like beach walk or with the Nest Coconut Perfume Oil, honey. That's a combination too. Talk about layering. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little on my hand. So hopefully y'all can see the shimmer. I might have to add a little more so y'all can see it. But if you've tried any of the Sol de Janeiro um, body creams and products, I really like them. I think they're actually really nice and hydrating to the skin. Love the Boom Boom Cream. I have that. I love um, Beja. Beha Flora, I think that's how you pronounce it. The pink, the light pink uh, container one. I have that one already. Um, and I'll have this one. Just, I really, really do enjoy their body care products. So, y'all aren't gonna be able to see this. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it on camera. It's one of those like, um, body shimmers that you may not see it when you first put it on but if you hit like get in sunlight or get in a certain type of light and it hits you that's when you see it because I can't like I'm being honest I can't see it right now under these lights 
but I know if I had, if it were, you know, daytime and I went outside, I would see it. But it's really, it's a really subtle shimmer. You don't feel it, obviously. Um, like it's no shimmer chunks or anything, but it looks so beautiful on the skin. And then my skin feels really nice and hydrated and soft. So it's a really good product overall, at least from what I sampled. Very happy to have it. And I would recommend it if you're looking into it. I don't know if this is going to be a product that they're going to keep around because it didn't say limited edition, but it said, um, like limited so i don't know if they meant limited edition i don't know if they meant limited quantities so i don't know or maybe i'm just reading too much into whatever that verbiage was but i was like well i'm not trying to take no chances and it's sell out and i didn't get to try it so and then um i did pick up the iconic london roll away glow highlighter in the shade peach paradise I think this is gonna be great. So I tested it in store. This is what it looks like. It looks so much smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like bigger, but I tested it out in store and I was like, this looks like a product that I might wear by itself. Okay, so you just literally, let's let's do it like this. You just really roll on a part product like so, <clears throat> which I like. And I also like that so far, it's not clumping on the um, ball. So. I mean, obviously when I say you can control the product, you can't necessarily control how much comes out. Like I like that, like not too much product comes out all at once. So um, just blending it into the skin, doesn't that just look like the prettiest sheen of highlight? And then look how nice it blended out with my hand. Like it's not sticky. Um, it's not, yeah, it just feels like nothing which i was really happy about because i was like is this gonna feel sticky is this gonna feel like too emollient like mm, what is this gonna feel like and it's just giving me glow let me add a little bit more but they have a rose gold one and then they have a champagne one the champagne one looks really pretty too um so i'm gonna just add a little bit more so hopefully you can see it more but yeah it, just, it looks like a really nice like subtle highlight that maybe you could put on before your foundation or you could just put on after your foundation. Or I would wear this like with no foundation on, but I'm going to the beach or I'm gonna be outside and I just want the sun to be hitting me in all the right places. That's a product I would put on. Remember I told y'all I felt like I could just throw this in my purse? I, th I think it's working the way I wanted it to work. Okay, and then the last three products that I ordered, I did order them online because they weren't in store. I did pick up the Dior Face Glow Palette, the Universal One, 001. So excited to have that. And then I picked up a Guerlain lipstick, my very first one. So I forgot the shade, but I'll pop it up here. And then I got the Houndstooth uh, lipstick cover. So I feel like I'm growing up and I'm being a mature adult by getting those things. <laughs> And guys, that's it. So like I said, I think this is going to be haul one of. I don't know what else I'm going to get. But, you know, I usually go back, you know, once, two more times after my initial one. But I'm really happy with what I picked up today. So I don't know. This might be my only haul. But stay tuned for some videos of these products in action. I'll definitely get them up before the savings event is over so you can see them in action and make decisions on if you'd like to purchase them. And I'll have everything linked down below in the description box. So let me know what you think of these products. Did you pick up some of, the, some of these products or do you have some of them and do you like them? Do you not like them? You know, leave all that down in the comment section below. And if you made it to this point in the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to consider subscribing and joining the Glam Girl Squad because we'd love to have you. And guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye guys.